there's been a few rigs found. Bad rigs found. Lead's still attached. Set up completely wrong. A couple of fish have been dragging them around. Some of the people snagged in them and dragged them in. So I just started to go through it. I said, we're basic rig. I know most of us know what we're doing. Oh, we? There's always a chance a rig will go wrong. It's never 100%. But you're going to make it as safe as possible for you and the fish. You, and the fish. This is a tent rig, fake maggots, size 10, carp hook, mantis braid hook link. It's basically a scaled down carp rig basically, the principle's the same. Instead of a lead I would put a, a block in feed and fill it full of maggots or whatever, or hemp. Thread your tubing on the line, put your rubber end on, and I'll show you what not to do. You put, I've got a 3 ounce lead on the clip, there's the line clip, you know, just a standard thing. Put your lead on. Well, this is what you want to do. Push it on dry. And you don't want to lose your lead, so you push it on and on and on. That lead costs you two pound or three pound. You don't want to lose it, so you push it on good and tight. Now, fish picks up that, takes you through a past a sharp piece of flint or rock or something, cuts your line off. It does happen sometimes. Touch wood. It's not happened to me for a long, long time, but it's still possible. Gets the lead snags on something. Oh, look at that. It's not coming off. That could possibly be a death rig. <coughs> now I use barber sucks anyway, or at least when barbs are allowed, I crush the barb down. And I like to have this set up so a bit of a pull and that'll come out. Some people like it set up so the lead will come off. And if you're fishing for the lead to lose the lead, purposely lose the lead, you'd use a different clip. So you can buy a different clip you want, but it has a hole there uh, and you push a little plastic plug through into through the eye of the swivel and that can't come out so when a fish pulls you, you set it up but then again if it clogs up death rig again but some people really know what they're doing and they set it up properly one thing you could do is cut that lug right down what you do is put your lead on In some of these clips have like a lot of ridges on them, I don't like them. This is smooth, it's just got one little bump of a ridge there. Got plenty of spit on it. I'll just push it on where it meets this kind of ridge, or just push it on lightly. And that's all it needs. Your car comes along, picks your bait up, hooks itself, and that lead's not coming out. That one's to run off catches on some heavy weed or a branch or whatever pulls off that's how it should be you must always moisten the end of the clip before you put the rubber on I'm in trouble now it's wet it's slippy I haven't got my reading glasses on should have put them on really There's a trouble when you get older, you start struggling with these things. And plus I've got Parkinson's and a shake a lot. Doesn't make it any easier. There. Now another thing you could do, that little thing like you thread the lead on, you could cut that down as well. I prefer to leave it longer. I do, before I'd use that, I cut that down a little bit. Just so that tag, what you thread the uh, lead on, is longer. Just makes it easier, you can push it on, it makes it easier for me to thread the lead on basically. I'll show you that again. Push it down to the lead, make sure it's properly moistened. I'll just push it on. I don't know if you can see that, it's got a ridge there. I just push it up to meet that. So that's enough. So you can cast in, and it'll sit on the bottom. Cat picks up the bait, feels it, or the tench, whatever. Swims away. I'm oh, sorry about the shake. Oh, I don't stay at hand. That's just give me a second. Swims away with the bait, hooks itself, 
I don't want to hold myself, so I'll just grab it like that. If the leg catches on something, it should be able to pull off like that. Now that's enough to stop you won't lose a you won't lose many leads on the take, just if it snags on something. And I can't afford to be losing leads. Willy nilly anyway. I mean obviously if it some set them up so it comes off on this on the uh, take. And in that case if you want to do that, you just cut that bottom lug right down. Cut that right down. You can cut that past where that lug is. And thread it burly on. And it won't work with this rig because you'd have to cut that lug right down to the well, this is just standard fishing, people who don't want to let come off on the take. Just push it on gentle, like I said. One more time. Fish picks up the bait, swims away, lead stays on, pulls the hook on, put the rod up. Unfortunately, your lead's caught on something, but it comes off. Fish will come up in the water and you can land it. And if the line wraps right, if you get cut off and the line wraps to catch on something, I prefer it for a bit of a tuck for that to come away. And all it's left with is a bit of line and the rig, and that's the barbless hook, so hopefully. Give it a bit of time, that would work out and work its way out and fall off, fall out. I hope this helps anybody who doesn't know what they're doing, especially new people. Because I want your fishing to be enjoyable on the bank. And if people see your fishing bag rigs, rigs, they'll have a go at you, which will spoil their day and spoil your day. And I'm sure people don't want to put fish in any danger. Because a lot of us treat their fish, especially carp, they treat them almost like pets. I know we're sticking hooks in them, fishing for them. But we tend to love them almost as much as your cat and dog on that you've got at home. And you wouldn't want that to be hurt, would you? So remember, safe rig to set them up properly. Moisten it before you put the rubber on. Only push it on lightly. A two pound lead, not weight wise, two pounds to buy. It's better losing that than losing it could be a fish of a lifetime, your personal best fish. And if that leg breaks off when it snags, comes away, you've got a better chance of landing it. If you get cut off and the lead's still attached, there's a better chance the lead will come away. Anyway, I hope this helps you. And happy fishing everyone, tight lines, and I hope you all catch. You target species, catch plenty of them and I hope you can all get a PB but most of all I hope you love fishing, love the environment and enjoy your time on the bank. Tight lines. It feels like a tench. Someone just asked me is out showing and I said no, nothing. And then it ripped off. Well, it didn't rip off. Probably went to the top. The method rod went. I'm on the mist. It's a nice cool sunny morning. And I'm into a tench. Can I get any better? Yeah, it could be. Ten pound tench would be nice. Oh, he's tucking some line. Time to level the rod up. No, it's not ready yet. Good bending rod. Love a good bend. 
bend in the rod. Sunny spring morning. Pops up like a good one. Then it's off again. Come on, give up. I'm gonna get you in. Said no. <clears throat> it's in the next not bad size there. <clears throat> well, six pounds ten. Not a bad guess on that. Uh, You can see the weather's changed, it's windy, it's pretty cold and frightening. My hands are freezing. So I'm going to call it a day. I can't see much feeding in this. There's a chance of a fish, but I'm going to get off in case it gets any worse. And a good morning. Enjoy yourself. As always, it's good to be on the bank. That's fishing for you. Thank you.